In this lesson, we are discussing how to create custom elevation from a, a custom elevation viewpoint. That is to say that uh, instead, instead of the elevation viewpoints that come default with the ArchiCAD template, we are going to create our own uh, elevation viewpoints. So, and we'll do that by going here under the viewpoint tools. We have the second tool here, which, which is the elevation tool. So if I click on this to activate it, then we have the settings dialogs. We have the settings dialog, which displays the elevation default settings. And this, be able to customize this. So let's say this is our view line. Rather, this is our elevation view, elevation line on the plan. We'll draw it up to that point. Then I'll choose to have the eye pointing towards the building. And you will see E01 as our elevation. So select this, right click, and choose open with current view settings. Then control L and look for the roof layer, which is this shell roof. Click on this eye to turn it on and click OK. So we have our roof back in place. We need to make some settings so that we can now start customizing the views, this elevation view. So right click there. Then under elevation settings, we start with the general settings. And we'll have that as E01, uh, the name is elevation. And uh, marker, I will have that as it is. Then we have options for the marker text style. And a marker text, and a marker text style, we'll choose We'll choose DM Sans as the text, uh, as the font type. And this is uh, the pen text for that. I'll have number one. And I'll have this as 2.5, which is uh, 2.5 millimeters for the font size. Let's go to marker simple and text and see what we have here. We have the mark style as triangle 2 and text in draw. Select that. Yeah, let's go to model display. And under model display, we'll have a uh, for uncut surfaces, we'll have a uniform pen here, and that pen should be number one. Or rather, we'll, we'll use pen number one for our settings. We'll uh, toggle off uh, transparency, then we'll uh, activate shadows like that. Let's go to story levels. Then under story levels, I will choose this as a show story levels, and this is going to be display and output uh, options. And this line, I'll have that line as uh, hidden. See if you can see uh, where is hidden. Triple dashed hidden line. So we have hidden line and the pen as number one here. So for the mark size, we'll have this as three millimeters. Then we'll have a uniform mark pen for that. And I will change the pen to be pen number one. Let's close story levels and go to story levels text as text style. As the font type here, we have DM Sans. We have this as number one, which is the text pen, and the text two millimeters as the font size. Close that, go to story level, simple and text. So here I'm not going to change anything. So I'll just close that. Go to the grid grid tool options and go I don't want to I don't want to have the grid lines showing in the elevation views. So what I'll do is I'll unclick and and I will uncheck this. So when we get to and we save this click ok you will see you will see that these are the customizations now as at now and we have the elevation as clean as that we don't have any disruptions in terms of grid lines running through the view the the, the, the drawing so back to the selection to elevation settings and we have a model display I think we've pretty much exhausted the options that we would make considerations, but still under model display, we can be able to check options for cut elements and have a uniform pen for that and click OK. So with that said, we'll start with uh, putting in place some fields. So here is the field tool, which can be accessed under document, documenting tools, then there is field. And I will uh, draw a rectangular field, select it and extend it to this point then go to the settings dialog for that and uh, and under field pattern here we change that to earth and click ok then we have uh, we have we have this as pen number two we have this as pen number 82 that's okay so this will change to 102 then click ok and you will see that get reflected in uh, our elevation so that's it. We need to make customizations for this fascia board here. So I will use the same. Um, I'll use the same uh, fill tool and draw the outline of this fill that is going to cover this area from the first node that I have created up to the very last point where we have 
eh, de intersección So this is where we started. So when I click, we'll uh, have the field completed like this. So this that's it. That's the field that uh, covers the area with the, where we have the covers the area where we have the face shear board. So back to the settings dialog, I think we can have this as one. I click OK and you will have it showing as boldly as that. So for the roof cover, still we need to use the same field tool as a documenting tool, and I will draw a rough outline there. Then I will select it. And adjust it to the various points. So this goes here. We have a point. We have another node there. So make sure you adjust it in a way that um, covers the real uh, extent, exact extent of of the roof. So that goes there, and this goes there. So we have the, we have that uh, fill covering the roof area start. So let's select it and go to the settings dialog for the fill tool. Then the very first option here is to change this is to change the fill pattern so click on that then we can choose to have a, a roof tile see which one we're going to select we have we have roof tile zero one we have uh, let's say we go with roof tile zero one like that and then this as pen number one click ok click on the outside so this is the pattern i think that is okay for now then from there we'll have other 2d enhancements in terms of objects so we go to the design architectural tools and activate the object tool and from there we'll have uh, this such as uh, as these shrubs that we have here so under this i'll choose uh, shrubs then go to shrub settings this is the preview that we have currently but under shrub settings we have the view type as symbolic side view and i'll choose type 6 then click on ok then i will come back to the elevation and place this here so we'll have that placed there and we'll have this also then select this and move them to the ground level so we have that in place let's say we place another one here so a shrub adjust it to the ground level then get back to the settings dialog and change that to one of these trees here we have let's see let's see what we have we have uh, let's have evergreen with the evergreen i'm going to select juniper here then click on this arrow select 2d representation and the view type as symbolic side view and with the symbolic side view we select this option and set the contour pen as 62 click ok so we'll have that bush showing there and we move it up to this point so that's okay with that we can still have this uh, let's drag a copy up to where we have then go to the settings dialog again change that to type 6 and click ok but we need to have this adjusted let's say we have uh, like six or rather like seven five then this is four eight that is under premium positioning that is the size click ok we have that as that i think still it looks small so let's get back and adjust that height to eight five and have this as let's have that as that so when that tree is placed there we right click we select it then right click under display order click on send to back and you will see sorry so display order send to back and that tree now is going to be appearing from the back of that building so we need we need some other let's say we have another bush see if this is going to let's select type um, let's have this type 5 and place it here select it and let's say see if we can have some adjustments to the size and that is found under preview and positioning so let's say we have this as two four and this as two five then click ok and we have it there back to the objects and uh, vehicle symbols we have this car then under view type select this to have this as let's have a um, sub side and then click ok and place this here then we'll uh, we'll mirror that so that it looks like yeah like that with that mirrored that's okay for now let's have another one and this is under people contour the very last option here which is this woman playing with the ball and then view uh, under custom settings we have this view type i will change that to front view click ok and then i will place that woman here 
we'll have that as the as as, as uh, we'll have that as set let's we, let's uh, select that car simple and change these uh, options here so under 2d representation for the contour pen we'll have that as pen number one and click ok so that it is it is now uh, bold when you look at it we can see it well from uh, from the elevation so with that the last part is we will have a background at the back so i'll use a fill and draw the outline of that background so we have this as a rectangular fill so up to that point then i will move it downwards so that every part is covered so if you look at the fill you notice that it is blocking it is blocking us from viewing the from viewing the elevation so select it go to the settings dialog and then and uh, fill pattern here change that to a linear fill click ok then we want to have this gradient yeah we, we, we want to have this gradient now flipped so that the upper part looks darker and the lower part looks light so i'll select click on this point select this option that sh that says we have this option uh, that reads as a uh, move move fill handle so select that then with that just move it towards uh, Towards, or rather move it downwards like that so we'll see the fill pattern has changed you can be able to move this upwards then have this elongated line. and from there right click display order send to back then when you look at the elevation now you see we have, we have some awesome settings we have uh, some good appearance so let's move this downwards like that then move this upwards like that so this is the elevation that we have created and i have shown you how to how to create a custom elevation viewpoint open that elevation do some editing using a 2d a documenting tools such as fields and change those fields from a normal fields to linear gradient fields send items back and forward so that you'll be having a very a presentable elevation as this so to be able to share this we'll go to we'll uh, need to we we'll need to save it as an image so go to file save us then we'll have this as 01 elevation give it sc24 call it that then uh, under options you'll have this selected as color okay and click save and there you are you have uh, saved your elevation and you've created an awesome elevation in archicad thank you for following along